Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Another exciting day in Sicily. So today we are in the city of beautiful, um, let me remember the name because they are a little bit different, Castelletti della Sicilia. Mm, I remembered. Um, we came up here from Syracuse, <coughs> which took us two hours with the bike. But it was a beautiful ride because it's not so hot anymore, so we could make it. Um, and so we came to explore this town. There is the most wonderful, wonderful lake here called Alcantara, which we are going to go later. And we will explore a little bit over there. I'm not sure what I'm going to find because I haven't done much research, much research. This is the second trip I'm taking this year without doing much research and I'm just <laughs> going with the flow. But so far so good, apart from the heat, I must say that I underestimated the heat because uh, I have never traveled so long on a bike and I didn't realize a bike, the bike we are using would release so much heat while driving in the heat and we couldn't actually, there were points where we couldn't actually drive any further but it was fine because we did find stuff to do. It is amazing, this little island, little island, it's so much bigger than ours but there is so much thing to do and the diversity is. This is a little town and it's a little town and I love it. It's quiet, it's quiet and it is like you have stepped into over there, age like a uh, because the streets are so narrow and the doors are so tiny and high from the hotel that we are staying in you could see houses that are caved in I'm not sure whether they are being in use but the every street is like if you like this kind of thing like me you will be fascinated I swear this is just amazing here I love it, I love it. So now I'm going to go have a look. I left the guys back at the hotel because they don't like to look. <laughs> but I came to explore a little bit the town. I know that there is a castle over here. I'm walking towards it. But I'm not sure what we're going to find around, uh, along the way. We did pass a little, a few things, a few interesting things. The town looks amazing. So I'm going to go have a little look. And I'll see what I'm going to find. Self. Take note and see if you're a little bit unfit like me, you have to walk slowly because the hills are like way up and the steps are like all the way up. Look, 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 look. No, 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 We'll take it slowly, we'll take it easy today, the weather is just perfect for exploring because it's not hot, it's not, it is hot, obviously it is hot, it's summer, it's the best days of summer, but it's not like 50 degrees, so it's okay, we can do it, we can do it.
Ah no, this is a, oh, I said it wrong. Eh, pardon the dog. <laughs> well, I said it wrong. It is Castiglione di Sicilia. And these are the points of interest. I am going to try to go to, because I'm fascinated with, with the castles. I'm trying to go to Castello di Laurea, this one the first. One here. Ah. So I'm going to try and look for directions here. And I'm gonna go and find this castle. Look inside. Ah. Pretty close now. Oh, can't get over this view though. Imagine living here, living here, and waking up in the morning and having a coffee to this view. <laughs> Summer or winter, it's still spectacular. Oh, look at that town over there. We're going to explore that later. So. And I wrote to a castle. It looks like a castle up there. But look how interesting this is. I think. Ah.
Okay, so this is a museum where all the, um, they are not actually um, the original ones, the dresses, but they have remade them. But I must say they remade them to perfection actually. This is a wedding dress. And everything is made by hand here just wow even even the furniture oh look at that crib that crib uh, even these little tiny toy horses they have been made by hand that's a bit that was uh, used as underwear we, we actually go out with them today but oh look at the cradle here and the gentleman inside the museum was telling me that those where they were hit with the round stones of the catapults sent from the other side there is a nice well here but it's empty oh, I could live in this castle I could be this, the queen of the castle even in just one room like over here we cannot enter that room because they are cleaning it and yes but I could be the queen of this room as long as I have this view <laughs> and that's that that's all there is to see in this castle because the main part is also closed but I believe it is worth it so we have finished the tour of the castle uh, admittingly it's not very big but it's, it's very 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 interesting if you like this kind of thing um, like me i love these things so i find them very interesting um, it's good to know that the entrance is free uh, so you can just walk in and it is just six minutes walk from the central of the town where we are staying so it's quite an easy road um, admittingly the town is small and it's all uh, uphill and steps so um, 
I'm not sure if it's accessible for everyone but it is worth the visit um, on this way the six minute walk from the town to here you will pass the cathedral of the mother chains which i already showed you and it will lead you up to this castle the castle of lauria which has an amazing history it, it is just good to be standing here where something stood for such a long time and this view that there is here you could just stay here for hours but the guys are waiting for me because we need to check out of the hotel today and we are actually going on another trip road trip it's good to ride today because it's not so extremely hot so the bike is not going to overheat and we're not going to overheat although i caught the sun yesterday from the from the bike but it's cool we're just gonna go down we're gonna stop and have a drink and see what we're going to find i will give you all the information about the hotel later because it is an amazing stay the view is just amazing i will um, i will show you a little bit later a tour around the room a quick 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 tour because i'm uh, a little bit tight with time now but um i will show you around the the hotel and i will give you the link down below where you can stay if you consider visiting this place you should because it, it's a quiet town it's like an old town you could just stay here and forget about the world because it's like uh, untouched here so if you like these kind of places i recommend that you will come for a visit this video is brought to you in collaboration with high life travel when you book travel you may be thinking that there are hundreds of websites to choose from to compare rates how do you know where to go to find the best rates the answer is it doesn't matter where you go by 2014 there were two major travel players that controlled the industry and dominated the internet priceline and expedia but what if there was a travel hack that gave the average person access to wholesale travel rates without ever having to pay a monthly or annual membership. Would you want to know about it? Introducing High Life Travel. We bring you discounted wholesale travel rates on flights, hotels and resorts, weekly condos, cruises, activities, dining, shopping, and more. Save up to 70% off what the public pays with just a few clicks. The truth is, travel memberships are out. Prepaid travel is in. High Life Travel is first to market with prepaid travel. There's absolutely no monthly or annual fees to access your savings. They can be used whenever you want, and they never expire. Getting started is simple. First, create a free account. Second, book a trip. Third, save. Join a global movement as we reinvent wholesale travel and never pay a travel membership again. We've seen it from down there and now I just went up some stairs and I found it. So this is the um, Church of St. Benedict. This is the, let me, um, 
Remember how to? Kiyeza di San Benedetto. See, the construction dates back to the 15th century. I love you. <laughs> we are so many old things. Imagine the things that I've seen. I'm going to take you around. But this was a uh, name Madonna with the Child by Vito Danna. Internally, the church communicates with the building um, of the monastery. There is a monastery way uh, at the back, which was later um, used as a um, what you call it? convent, convent for the cloistered. But then it became an orphanage later. Oh, somewhere here, actually, I'm going to have it. Somewhere here, you can see a like a round a window where people used to send their babies. Oh, they used to leave their babies, turn it around, and then just leave them there for the nuns to take care of. Let's see if we can find it. So, this is the door to the cathedral here. Ah, oh, that view. <laughs> This is the door to the cathedral, which is closed today. No, I'm not sure whether it's still being open or not. And this is the monastery that it connects to. There was a gentleman here, a very kind gentleman, because this is a nice town and there is a lot to see, but um, there is no guidance door. So. You saw me walking around, I saw me reading the, the, the information about the, this area, he stopped to explain. This here is the door um, to the monastery, where the nuns used to stay in this building. Here. And all this door here was one of the doors where the babies used to be left. Some people used to leave the babies there. Uh, it, it is... Um, he did explain that um, during medieval times and during the war, a lot of babies were abandoned here. So this was one place where they used to leave them. Or some were also left up by the stairs, the main entrance to the convent. And there is a small door here. Up there. Where do you sleep, baby? Where is I can do that story, but it's not really because at least they live down where they used to be taken care of. Very prepared by these people. Over by the window, there is like a babe. Seventeen. Seven, seventeen, oh seven. And when somebody used to leave the baby by the door, by this one, or by the one below, the gentleman used to tell me some some lady uh, didn't want to show who they are, so they used to leave the baby there. They used to um, ring the bell or knock on the door, and then run down to there. So the nuns used to come out from here, from these balconies here. You can actually see the English. Oh, what a story. Oh, I love these places. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. They didn't tell me what it is. Okay, so I am going to head back to the hotel now because we need to do a checkout and I need to pick everything up. We need to um, start our way to the next destination because by tonight we need to be at um, Syracuse again. So it's going to be a long day again. So this is all the time I have in Castelletti. I'm going to write it down because I get it wrong all the time. Uh, 
Uh, but I say this was an amazing trip here. I I loved that we have stopped here. This is my kind of town. This is while we're in Europe, you find a lot in uh, in these places like this. And I just like being in the backside of beyond, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, where you see only only so much people, not too crowded. And even though there is so much to see here. Uh, but I would guess that um, maximum of three, four days for me, I would like to relax a little bit. So I wouldn't mind spending four days here, but not this time. This time we're just spending two because uh, we have other locations to see. And we're only here until Sunday and today is Friday. So we have to make the most of it. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will uh, like it. So guys, before I close this video, I just would like to point out one suggestion, one last suggestion. If you are traveling in this side of Sicily, make sure to save a day to go and visit this amazing place, Alcantara. It is an amazing river, which is, will be definitely worth your while. There is an admission fee. There are actually uh, different admission fees. It depends from where you enter and how you'd like to enter. Because if you'd like to enter uh, on foot and go down all, the, all those things, and come up back up again it will cost you only 150 to enter um, we chose to obviously <laughs> we chose to use the lift and so we paid uh, 13 euros and 9 euros for the children uh, but it's easier that way and in the heat it's uh, more beneficial um one day is enough in this place it is an amazing experience there is a small beach where you can just sit and lounge and you can actually swim the water was like um 10 degrees it was absolutely freezing which is why i didn't go in it definitely but it is amazing just to experience and have a sit down and spend the day with friends and family um one thing to point out guys there are areas which um, the water is really 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 strong so i wouldn't advise um to let children swim especially alone even we saw even adults struggling um, with the force of water we have some footage here thanks to daniel because i didn't even contemplate going <laughs> in this um, side of the water yes um one has to be very careful while treading the waters here because especially if um, you have never experienced water like this um, it is oil pebbly um, it is cold and it is strong so make sure you are careful and make sure you hold those kids really fast because uh, really well because there was actually an area where all the things that people were dropping <laughs> was accumulating there sunglasses t-shirts slippers yes that would be a very good idea also to wear some water shoes because the bottom is all pebbly and so it's a little bit difficult to walk on um, apart from that it's an amazing day i would also suggest that you take some food and drink with you because on the bank there is no uh, restaurants and no food kiosks but there is one up on top there is also a souvenir shop um, but the food obviously is a little bit pricey so if one is going in a group i would suggest that you take a packed lunch or some drinks with you and make the day absolutely perfect uh, you can also do different kind of activities at alcantara you can do walking trails there is four walking um there are four main walking trails that you can follow which offers number numerous um outlook viewpoints which are great for photographs they are absolutely amazing there are bike tours that you can take as well there are three main trails you can take and there is also river trekking um these um, river trekking will be uh, a guide will be provided and uh, you cannot do it by yourself there is also body rafting there is nordic walking and there is a whole lot of list of things that you can do so guys i hope this um, information was helpful for you i hope you will get to enjoy this place and visit and 
because it will definitely be worth your time thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you find this video useful and share if you know somebody that's going to visit sicily and could make use of this information thank you see you next time